sorry, I just ran here. <laughs> This week, we are back home in my hometown, Durango, Colorado. And although it feels amazing to be here, my parents are here, most of my friends are here. I have childhood friends here. Um, it's in the mountains, it's a little tiny town surrounded by a national forest, and it's pretty epic. And even though I love it, sometimes it's hard to stay in that same sense of discovery or awe that you are when you're traveling. I'm sure that you can get that if you're a big traveler too. It's a big life challenge of mine and big life pursuit to stay in a sense of discovery. So whenever you're traveling, you're in this mindset where everything is just amazing and new and you're discovering things and you're just, it's one big adventure. And then when you tend to come home, you tend to lose that same kind of um, drive to learn and drive to experience new things. And so, I can't lie, the beginning of this week, I definitely felt that way. But then, with some hope and organization, I decided that this week was gonna be dedicated to experiencing my same old hometown in brand new ways. So we did that in a number of different ways. And the first one I am going to talk about today was the helicopter experience we got to do. this about me but I am a little bit obsessed with flying <laughs> like I love heights I'm a climber um, I've loved going up in little tiny planes but this was my first time going on a proper helicopter ride and I did it with my good friend and amazing pilot Tyler with Alpine Adventures and honestly even though I love flying I typically get pretty darn sick in the cab of a little tiny plane. But this was the first time I've ever, ever done anything like that and not gotten really sick. And instead, the whole time I just felt this sense of peace. Honestly, there was kind of a lot of synchronicity here, right? So I get home, you know, back to Durango and life seems a little bit less colorful. It seems a little bit just more boring. And that's totally a perspective thing because I am appreciative to have been raised here. Um, I love it here, it's a little ski town. Honestly, there's so much to do every season. And I just felt a little bit dull, you know? And then it was so funny because I knew I was having a negative perspective about things. And then all of a sudden I got this opportunity to go in this helicopter and I literally changed my perspective, right? I was down here and what the helicopter did was bring me up here and let me see things from a bird's, bird's eye view. It was pretty incredible. The next thing that we got to do that kept me alive and kept me seeing things in a state of discovery was climbing. And climbing is something I've been doing for a really long time. I used to be a competitive climber. I've climbed in a lot of amazing places in the world and honestly, I get a little bit tired of it, right? I love mountaineering and that's kind of the direction my heart is going recently, but sport climbing has been something I've just done for so long and in so many places and worked so hard on that 
I sometimes get a little bit bored now. I can't lie, right? I sometimes get a little bit bored. I'm not as competitive. Um, I just don't care about ratings at all anymore. And so I wanted to apply the same sense and pursuit of discovery, climbing at some old crags in my hometown that I used to climb at a lot when I was more competitive. So I used to have this amazing climbing coach who said, really, really good climbers can make any climb challenging. And so I kind of wanted to walk around Durango that way because as a climber, you know, we pursue challenge. We love it, right? If you're not challenged, you're not exactly having fun. And so I remember kind of walking around to this crag and being like, how am I going to make this really fun? And I kind of decided that I wanted to do a bunch of different climbs in ways I haven't climbed them before. And only people that climb will understand why this is interesting. But anyway, um, it was pretty fun to be there and kind of experience the same newness that I experienced when I was a new climber when I was a teenager. Another surprisingly amazing thing that I had the pleasure of doing was going up to one of my favorite little tiny alpine lakes and paddleboarding, which is not anything I'd ever done before. And I have a special, those of you who know me, I have a special place in my heart for sunrise. So I had the pleasure of going up to this little alpine lake and paddleboarding at sunrise. So I know that I've walked around this entire video talking about how I've needed to stay intentionally inspired and excited to be here and worked really hard on my perspective, but there is one thing that we did this week that I swear to you never freaking gets old. And that is this hike that a ton of Durango locals know about. That is this slot canyon. You have to hike through this freezing cold creek and in this lock canyon you go through quite a few pretty large cliff jumps and the reason I'm not telling you its name is because a it's very dangerous and you have to really know what you're doing I've actually done this a ton of times before and one of the times that I had done it after I had done the proper checks um, I almost had to be evac'd out because the water started suddenly rising and we ended up having to climb out without any ropes. Um, it was really, really, really dangerous, okay? And then the next day, actually a girl ended up drowning and passing away that was also a Durango local who knew what she was doing. So it's pretty, it's pretty serious, it's a pretty big deal. And the second reason I'm not telling you its name is because I want to keep it as low traffic as possible. Like I want everyone to experience the beauty of the outdoors. But if I gave out names like this too much, I'm sure eventually it would start to impact the, um, the general natural beauty and habitat of that area. So anyways, it's pretty magical. Honestly, it's like full of moss. It just feels like a whole other world down there.
I did that helped a ton with my state of discovery this week was try to find these magical in-between moments, right? So when you're doing a big, big, big adventure, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to notice these small little things. But when you're home and the big things feel a little bit smaller, it's easy for you to kind of zoom in and take a look at these little tiny details like the way the light looks on water or how the trees are growing the specific way this season. And so I really loved this week spending time with some of the smaller little tiny detail things. And I actually started this because I wanted to get better at videoing little details, nature shots for this vlog. So in short, you guys were the ones that helped me come back to myself a little bit and stay in that sense of discovery because I want to create beautiful content for you guys and that pushes me to experience things in a little bit more of a magical way so to close I wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video and encouraging me and I also wanted to say share this with your friends right it is so stinking encouraging to be a part of this community and have people watch these videos you don't even have to comment or comment I should say you should comment but just honestly share with them with your friends be authentic with it because it's so encouraging for me to see how people are responding to this type of content so if you're someone that wants to live a life like me who wants to hustle for the few hours you're working and spend the rest of the time playing shoot me a dm on instagram heidi.ann.williams and i will outline your first few action steps for so you can start a business and start traveling as full time as possible, as soon as possible. Shoot me a DM, Heidi.Ann.Williams. I would love to hear from you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.